What's going on guys? Let me try this a third time because apparently uh, all my video got corrupted, audio was messed up. I don't know what happened. I just could not uh, get it to work. But I'm going to go ahead and let you know. Yeah, I'm covering these people too. I've seen a lot of people covering them and I thought well, this has got to be like one of the worst things this year. No, it's actually the funniest thing I've seen all year. Now I'm going to go ahead and start this off by letting you know. Yeah, I, I got the footage, but um, the incident itself, I'm going to have to edit uh, a little bit out. I'm going to try to blur some of it so you can still get the audio without cutting out too much because I want to make sure YouTube guidelines don't get, you know, messed up here. And I don't want them trying to uh, take my video down. And being on a small channel, I don't see me winning that fight at all. So I'm going to try to uh, make it usable. Like I said, I had a bunch of audio issues, a bunch of stuff didn't get recorded. So this is like my third time trying. But yeah, what is going on is a lady named Jordana, Jordana, whatever you want to call her, um, some ex-Howard Stern show writer. Um, I got all this from a news site, by the way. And the news site seemed to really put it in favor for her, put her as a victim. I have to say this. Now, this is from my understanding. I might be a little bit wrong about some of this. But yeah, the gentleman cheated. He's a terrible person for what he did. She is clearly a crazy person herself. Um... Especially to work for Howard Stern, which, if you don't know, is just some shock jock, pretty much a heavily aged, uh, one of the original type podcaster type dudes. And he was a, uh, you know, he he got his whole following from being super wild. Well, to be a writer on there, you have to be a little crazy yourself. And that's what this situation is. It's just absolutely bonkers, absolutely wild. So, yeah, check this out. Hi, Sarah. How are you? How are you, Sarah? Hi. 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 Hi.
And he says you won't stop texting him, but I saw the text. It's the same shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's up? She's happy, right? She's happy, right? Delete the number, please. Ow! Ow! No! Pull over, dumb cunt. Pull over, dumb cunt. No! Ow! Ow! No, no, please don't. Don't. All right, I'll stop. I'll stop. Okay, I'll stop. Pull over. Okay, I will. Pull over, dumb okay, cunt. Please, 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 please. Ah! No, I'm sorry. No, call 911, Sarah. Call 911. No, 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 no. Help! Help, please. Please. I'm sorry. Call 911. Oh, you're sorry, right? Get the fuck okay, out of here. Okay, I'm getting out. I'm getting out. He's killing me. Now, I wish that was just the only part about it, but it gets funnier. The lady apparently in question is named Sarah. Now, Sarah uh, donated $5 to basically riz it up that she could get down better than her. Because if you didn't know, that's a little bit of the issue. Now, he also tries to start calling her a bunch of names and saying, hey, he's doxing you, or she's doxing you, and uh, she's trying to expose you, this and that's all over Discord. Yada, 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 this, that, and the third. Well, that's what pretty much transpired through most of this stuff. The name calling, I thought, was just super wild and goofy. And the ending. The ending was perfect. If you didn't notice, there was a transit vehicle. I don't know if he was following them, but it seemed like they stopped to help her. Also, there was a police uh, report, or not police report, a um, a statement taken by an officer, basically, where she called him a bunch of names, obviously, um, and then kept his property a phone or something and basically the cops like you you have to return that like that is stolen if you do not return it you know that right and she's like oh he's just a blah 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 a couple slurs and then it's like oh okay and gave it back anyway i think this whole situation is super childish for one if you cheat or get cheated on whatever usually just leave it be and not like keep them just leave it be and go leave break up there's no reason to uh try to get assault charges put on you either that just adds insult to injury and looks like to me, I mean, to me, insult your own intelligence. Like, I hate when people, oh, if, I, if anybody cheats on me, I'm going to beat the, beat the hell out of both of them. I'm not. You're just going to get out of my house. And yeah, it's going to suck and it's going to hurt. And yeah, I wish I could punch you, but it makes more sense to me to let you just get out of there because I don't need charges on me. I don't need to try to have to go pay for a lawyer or fines or whatever comes about it. I mean, it's just that moment, that five minutes that I don't think is going to be worth it because at that point, I feel no ties to that person. I just think, it, you know, go ahead and go. Let me quit wasting my time and I'll continue my life. You continue yours, you heartless harpy. Sorry, I was having Dragon's Dogma uh, flashbacks to harpies. But anyway, that's the goofy situation of it. Um, honestly, I don't know if anybody found it hard to watch. I didn't. Uh, like I said, it just seems like a very cartoonish, almost like a family guy moment if uh, people were fighting in the back. Um, but this is just a situation I think is being kind of thrown a little bit overboard. Like there, there's no like bleeding there's no hospitalization it don't look like i doubt anybody's concussed about it um but it just seems like something that she just shouldn't have streamed it's a it's an affair that should be you know happen and taken care of privately it just makes you look super ignorant super trashy uh and like a complete ignorant person but yeah that's about all i got to say y'all have a good one